Vibrio vulnificus septicemia, a serious infection caused by the bacterium Vibrio vulnificus, was first recognized as a distinct clinical entity in the late 1970s. The bacterium itself was identified in 1976. Prior to this, cases may have occurred but were not identified as being caused by this specific bacterium. Vibrio vulnificus septicemia can occur through two primary routes of infection. The most common way people get infected with Vibrio vulnificus is by eating raw or undercooked seafood, particularly oysters. The bacterium is naturally present in warm coastal waters and can contaminate seafood harvested from these areas. Vibrio vulnificus can also enter the body through open wounds when they are exposed to seawater containing the bacterium. This can include cuts or abrasions, or wounds from handling seafood, like pricking a finger on a crab shell, or wounds exposed while swimming or wading in infected waters. In both cases, once the bacteria enter the body, they can multiply and release toxins, leading to septicemia in severe cases, especially in individuals with weakened immune systems or underlying chronic conditions. Vibrio vulnificus septicemia typically begins with fever and chills, accompanied by a general feeling of illness. Patients may develop painful skin lesions, which often start as small red bumps before evolving into larger, more severe wounds. There can be noticeable swelling and redness around the wound site, especially if the infection entered through an open wound. The area around an infected wound can be extremely painful. If the infection is due to consuming contaminated seafood, gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain may occur. As the bacteria spread, they can cause a bloodstream infection, leading to more severe symptoms like low blood pressure, septic shock, and organ failure. It's crucial to seek prompt medical attention if Vibrio vulnificus infection is suspected, as these infections can progress rapidly and can be life-threatening, especially in people with weakened immune systems or chronic liver disease. Treatment for Vibrio vulnificus septicemia is urgent and multifaceted. It primarily involves the immediate administration of antibiotics with doxycycline and a third-generation cephalosporin-like ceftazidine commonly used. The antibiotic treatment is adjusted based on the patient's response and any specific antibiotic susceptibility data. Alongside antibiotics, supportive care is critical. This includes measures to maintain blood pressure and treat septic shock, if present, often involving intravenous fluids and medications to support blood pressure. For infections acquired through a wound, thorough cleaning and care of the wound are essential. In severe cases, surgical intervention may be required to remove dead or infected tissue. Continuous monitoring for complications such as organ failure is also important, and in severe cases, treatment may require intensive care and support for failing organs. Early medical intervention is crucial for a successful outcome, as delayed treatment can lead to severe complications or even death, especially in individuals with underlying health conditions like liver disease or compromised immune systems.